with Buildy. Open a browser and go to Buildy.com to join as a member. Click the sign up button on the header menu. You can choose to sign up with your Facebook account or Google account. The authentication process of your login credentials will be verified through those social network providers. Another way to sign up is by using your email ID as your username and your chosen unique password. If you choose to sign up using an email ID, you need to provide your first name and last name. In this tutorial, I will sign up using my email ID and a unique password. I will provide my first name and last name. To learn more about our members policy, read our terms and condition and click the tick box to agree. Then click the sign up button. To verify your registration, go to your email account and check your inbox. If you can't find an email notification from Buildy, go ahead and check your spam or junk mails. Then click verify button. Congratulations! You are now a Buildy member. So what are the perks of being a Buildy member? Explore our list of trusted and licensed professionals and reach out to them on your next construction or renovation projects. Browse our latest stories and idea board to make it easy for you to plan your home construction or renovation projects. You can also be part of our professional partner by joining our pro team to showcase your products or services and grow your online presence with Buildy. What are you waiting for? Join Buildy today. How to join Buildy as a pro. Before you can join as a pro, you need to sign up for a Buildy account. If you already have a Buildy account, go ahead and click login. There are three options to log in. First, is using your Facebook account. Second, using your Google email account. Or, third is using your email username and password. For this tutorial, I will use the third option. I will use my email username and password and click login. Once you are logged in, click, join as a pro on the upper right corner of your screen. There are two sections for you to accomplish in creating a professional account. First, your personal information. Second, is the projects section where you can upload the ongoing or recent projects that you want to showcase to the rest of the Buildy community. Make sure to fill up all the required fields. All the information that you shared with us is safe and secure. For more info on how we handle your personal data, you may check our terms and conditions about data privacy. How to fill up personal information section. Provide your first name and last name. Gender and birthday are also required. You also need to provide your active email ID, phone number, and complete address. To make your profile stand out. Please provide a short background of your career history, accomplishments, and credentials. You may also link your existing website if available. You also need to identify your current job title. You may share an estimated job cost range to let your profile visitor aware of the working budget that you are willing to work with. And lastly, be specific on your professional services and expertise. Then, click next step. The next step is your project section. Here at Buildy, we wanted each profile to stand out. That's why adding projects is a must. To add projects to your profile, simply click Add Project. Provide a project title. Project description is optional but we encourage you to provide a short description such as the cost of the project, features, and other specifications that can be useful for your profile visitors. You may also provide the location of the project to make it easy for your profile visitors to validate your works. Set project visibility to public. Then add some good quality images of the project by dragging an image inside the box or by clicking the box to open your file manager and the location of your preferred images. After providing all the required information, click Add Project. After completing all the information on the two-section profile creation, you may now click Submit. Your profile will be reviewed and you will receive an email notification once your profile has been approved by our team. What are you waiting for? Join as pro now.
How to sign up with Buildy. Open a browser and go to buildy.com to join as a member. Click the sign up button on the header menu. You can choose to sign up with your Facebook account or Google account. The authentication process of your login credentials will be verified through those social network providers. Another way to sign up is by using your email ID as your username and your chosen unique password. If you choose to sign up using an email ID, you need to provide your first name and last name. In this tutorial, I will sign up using my email ID and a unique password. I will provide my first name and last name. To learn more about our members policy, read our terms and condition and click the tick box to agree. Then click the sign up button. To verify your registration, go to your email account and check your inbox. If you can't find an email notification from Buildy, go ahead and check your spam or junk mails. Then click verify button. Congratulations. You are now a Buildy member. So what are the perks of being a Buildy member? Explore our list of trusted and licensed professionals and reach out to them on your next construction or renovation projects. Browse our latest stories and idea board to make it easy for you to plan your home construction or renovation projects. You can also be part of our professional partner by joining our pro team to showcase your products or services and grow your online presence with Buildy. What are you waiting for? Join Buildy today. How to join Buildy as a pro. Before you can join as a pro, you need to sign up for a Buildy account. If you already have a Buildy account, go ahead and click login. There are three options to log in. First, is using your Facebook account. Second, using your Google email account. Or, third is using your email username and password. For this tutorial, I will use the third option. I will use my email username and password and click login. Once you are logged in, click join as a pro on the upper right corner. Hello. Good Hello. Afternoon. Good morning and good afternoon. I'm so yes. sorry. It's good afternoon. Good afternoon. So for all the viewers of uh, Pro Stop uh, on our Build the site on Facebook, welcome and good afternoon to everybody. Today is another live episode of Pro Stock, and I have a very, uh, a very, very interesting and very, very interesting topic today. Sa lalo na ngayong parating ang summer. But before we get into that. Okay, just to remind all those who are just viewing us perhaps the first time on what Buildy is. So Buildy po is a technology enabled platform okay, that provides an ecosystem of trust. So what it does po, kung may kailangan po for construction or meron po gustong malamang information, Buildy po is the one site to go to to get all your information. And now, what is ProStock po? No? So for again, viewers who are just watching us for the first time, ProStock is uh, the community effort of Buildy to really educate the Filipino public on the pros, tips and tricks of the trade when it comes to construction. Marami pong nagpapagawa ng, uh, marami pong construction na ongoing, but not all construction are hassle-free and a lot of them are, you know, it, it, and it ends up with, uh, you know, hindi na tamang timeline or masyado mataas the cost. And primarily because a lot of the people are not consulting the right professionals to do what they need to do. So today, we are joined by uh, a very special guest, uh, Engineer Rich Richard De Jesus. He's a pushang engineer. And uh, I will introduce him so that he actually he can talk about his background and what he does and that so that he can educate us. For today, our topic will be information basic information about solar panels so good afternoon po engineer richard hello hello everybody yes all i'm right. here all right so engineer do you want to just give the audience a very brief introduction boss boss of what you do uh and you know what exactly are the things that you've done in the field of engineering sir okay uh, I'm, an, uh, I'm a mechanical and electrical engineering both at the same time. 
I'm into consul consulting firm right now. Uh, if uh, you have a building, let's say you want uh, to check it for the whole year, that it will run smoothly, then you can contact me anytime. Uh, what I'm doing now is uh, I'm checking all the equipments, primarily, primarily the elevators, blowers, electrical system, plumbing system, and the fire protection system. Right. So, sa ating pong guest, welcome, uh, Engineer Richard. And again, for our viewers, this is very, very important. And this is one of the passion things, or passion projects of Bildi, right? This is our, our way of giving back. We invite engineers, professionals, architects to actually help educate us all for free. We broadcast this live every Saturday at 3 p.m. Uh, this lasts for about 20, 25 minutes. And the whole thought process here is you can tune in and get it from the experts. So yun po ang aming uh, advocacy in Bildi, ito ang aming adhikain, ika nga sa Pilipino, na ma-educate po yung mga taong gustong pumasok sa profession ng construction, and or yung mga nagpapagawa naman po yung may mga building projects. ProStock po is a place where you can visit so you can hear directly from the experts because we only invite in Bildi uh, people who have not just graduated from these professions but they practiced it and they were successful at it. So, simula na po natin. Marami po salamat no, at uh, Engineer Richard for joining yes. us today. You're so, as, a, as an initial topic po siguro no, for uh, solar panels, no, ano po ba yung ibig sabihin ng on-grid and off-grid na solar panels? Okay, let me put this this way. So, i-separate natin siya. There are two kinds of, uh, when you want to install a solar panel, there are two kinds of installation per se. The first one is the on-grid and the second one is the off-grid. Okay? The on-grid system you will hook it up to with the electrical cooperative or Meralco. Uh, the other one is the off-grid uh, off when when the time that you want to become independent. So wala kang other source which uh, rather than you produce your power by yourself. Yun. Mm -hmm. So yun yung dalawang classification. Then from that classification, you can uh, further uh, classify it to two kinds, the macro and the micro. So right. sa on-grid, Meron siyang macro system, sa so off-grid, merong macro system, and the other way around, may micro din siya. When okay. you say about macro, sa, sa on-grid system, that is the solar farming. So, uh, pang malakihan, 1 megawatt and above. Then we have the micro, that is for the small house, small residential unit for your house. Okay. okay. So, uh, Engineer, tanungin ko lang po, no, sa, sa micro, sabi nyo pagbahay, micro, no? So, correct, correct. Naman, micro off-grid. Micro off-grid. Pag sinabi nyo po micro off-grid, ilang, ano po ba ang mapapagana niyan sa bahay niyo? It, uh, it varies from the smallest one, mar around 1,000 watts uh, that can run one TV and let's say three electric bulbs. Wow, maliit lang po pala. Yes, Paano po ang aircon? <laughs> Pag aircon po ang gusto mong paganahin. Uh, interesting question but uh, we'll leave that topic to another time. Medyo broad yung aircon. But uh, just to give you a, a, a brief idea, the aircon system consumes around mga 2,000 watts. Okay. So if you want to introduce solar para dun sa aircon system mo, medyo... Limited yung capacity ni solar panel para dyan. Ah, very good. All right. Marami pong salamat. So, okay. uh, so, 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 next topic yan. So, balikan po natin ng konti yung off-grid, no? Uh, okay. Na nanggit nyo, no? So, sabi nyo, uh, may battery po ba siya? O pa paano po ba nag-work yun? Yes, the off-grid system comes with a battery. So, pag may nakita kayong battery, that means uh, you are isolated from... Uh, the electric company or Meralco in Manila, other parts of the country, we have they have the cooperatives, electric cooperatives. So basically isolated kayo doon. Hindi kayo naka-hook up. But recently, they come up with an idea na magkaroon ng isang system called the hybrid. The hybrid system can use both uh, electric cooperative or Meralco and solar to charge your battery at the same time 
or the other way around what uh, one either either battery or either the electric co-op I see, I see. So, balikan ko lang po ng konti, no, uh, engineer, para sa po mga nanonood sa atin, para maintindihan nila. Kung kayo po ay nakatira dito sa Metro Manila, Correct. ano po ba ang mas relevant? Yung on-grid or off-grid? If you're living in inside the urban area, uh, the, the best uh, installation for you is the on-grid system. Okay. Wherein wala kayong backup battery, uh, what you produce will be directly feed to the electric meter to the supplier, let's say Meralco or the electric co-op, then it will be deducted from your monthly bill what you produce. Ah, alright. So, Ayun. paano po ito, no? Ang, ang next question dito is, magkano po pa ang masisave ng mga taga Metro Manila kung sakasakaling mag-on grid sila ng solar panel? Okay. It depende din kung gaano kalaki yung wattage na iyong i set up. Okay. So it depends how many solar panels are going to put up. But uh, you have to be reminded that it is uh, your space is also limited. Let's say I want to put 100 solar panels but your capacity is just the roofing capacity is just 10 solar panels. So how can you install 100 solar panels in your rooftop? That's right. the limitation. Also, Secondly, you have to compute for electric bill. You cannot produce more than what you consume. Yun yung rule ni Meralco regarding that one or uh, the electric co-op. You can only save. This is for the saving. So at least you have 80%. Let's say you're consuming, let's say, 10,000 pesos. You can only save up to 8. Kasi more than that, TY yun from the electric company. Ah, all right. So I think that's very interesting no, for all yes. the viewers right now. So I think a few tips there is before you make that investment on solar panels, it would be good for you to actually compute. probably tune in, compute, right, and consult an expert. So we'll get to that. Pero bago po ako magtanong ulit, no, engineer, yes. kung sakasakali pong meron tayong nanonood right now, no, and interested sila ng manghingi ng guidance, pwede po bang magtanong sa inyo? How do people reach you if they want to consult with you? You can reach me through the Build the Platform. They, they are there to help you with that uh, kind of problem so we can advise you more uh, professionally and accordingly. All right, maraming salamat, uh, engineer. So, ito po ang ating next na question. Uh, in, in, ilan po bang solar providers? No? Kung ano po bang tawag sa kanila? Providers po ba? Solar yes, yes, you're correct, you're correct. Ilan po uh, ba ang pinon yan ngayon sa Pilipinas? And how do people sort of, ano po ba yung mga criteria na dapat nilang itanong bago sila magpumili or mag-decide kung sino? There's a colloquial term na ginagamit ngayon. It's ka, we called ourselves solar integrators. Okay. So we integrate the solar power. Kami nag integrate lahat from the solar panel, battery, inverters, yung mga parts of the components ng solar panel the bago kayo makapag-produce ng kuryente. Yun po. Alright. So ito po yung next question natin. Okay. Babalik tayo ng konti yung sinabi nyo po na... Uh, sa aircon. Ang tanong dito ganito, sabi, for a typical house that you have, let's say, isang aircon, isang ref, ilaw, around 2 kVA worth, magkano daw yon para mag, anong klaseng, or magkano investment ang kailangan nilang gawin for a solar to generate that? Tama po ba yan at ang question? Yes. Okay, for that question, uh, let me answer it this way. For that kind of setup, you have to have uh, you have to have at least 3,000 to 4,000 kWp of solar panels. So for that one, you have to install like 20 to 30 sets of uh, 150 watts na solar panel. More or less, uh, let's just say ganun kasi I have to compute it uh, more, uh, more studiously. Pero uh, like what I've said, Yung price kasi niya nagvavary from time to time with the international market. That's also the tip that I'm going to give you. Some solar panels have their, uh, uh, what do you call this, standards. Merong mga solar panels that you can bought for a very low price, but the efficiency is not as quite high as, the, as those who you bought with class A or class AA standard. So All you right. have to also check that one. 
So, meron din palang ganong criteria. Hindi lahat yes. ng solar panel pare-pareho. Yes. Okay, so I think it's very, very important for our guests uh, and our viewers. Please be mindful. Hindi po yan pare-pareho. Just because mas mura, hindi ibig sabihin po nung no, nakatipid kayo. Tama po ba, engineer? Correct. Very good idea. Okay. You're all right. Okay. So, sir, ano po ba ang benefit ng solar panel, no? Other than saving sa uh, electrical bill? Okay. When you talk about solar panels, uh, basically, you want to save the environment. Eh. So, you malelesen yung carbon footprint, makakatulong ka sa environment natin. At the same time, you can save energy. At saka yung uh, carbon footprint po sa bahay is mababawasan. Then, mm -hmm. if you go to some municipalities here in Manila, uh, they give you uh, some in incentive na binabawasan niya yung real estate tax niyo na binabayaran every month. Wow. Say, Quezon City and other places na na-approve na, na yung kanilang green energy law. Wow, that's great. Ha? Hindi po, yes. uh, first time could... So actually, merong aside from your savings on electricity, aside from you helping the environment, you actually get a relief on your tax. Yes, from the local government. Yes, as wow. mandated by law. Oh, fantastic. I think that's great for everyone here who wants to invest. Maybe I should invest. Sure. <laughs> in All right. Uh, Engineer, may question dito. Sa SM2 daw, merong 2 megawatt farm. Ang North and MOA. Correct. That's Moveja. true. That's uh, true. So, so an, sila po ba nakakonek? Ano bang description yun? On-grid po ba yun o off-grid? It's already an uh, on-grid macro system. On-grid macro system. So, meron pa rin silang backup Meralco. Combined, opo. Tama combined, po. Combined, combined. And right now, uh, ang suggestion niyo po, right? I mean, kasi si SM, kailangan niya ng two power source. Pero sa bahay, I guess, ang typical installation will be a combination pa rin of uh, yung sinasabi niyong on-grid micro. Uh, yes. Yung sa kay SM North EDSA and SM MOA, what they produce there, they will uh, feed it to Meralco. Then it will, the, the power they produce will be deducted from their monthly bill. Okay. Uh -oh. So, ang question po ganito, bakit po hindi yes. masyadong popular ang net metering sa Philippines? Yung net metering sa Philippines was just introduced recently. Then, there are still go, uh, ginagawa pa nila yung, ano, yung mga rules and regulation about that. And uh, for Manila, it's Meralco who is handling it. So, medyo uh, the process is not that uh, fast enough pa. Right. And the application. Competitive po ba pag nag-net metering? Makakatipid po ba talaga ang general public? or? Yes, meron naman savings na makukuha ang general public if they are interested to set up the net metering program. Okay, fantastic. All right. So, ano sino-sino po bang mga kumpanya ang nag-o-offer ng ganitong service? Solar integrator po ba ang tawag nyo? Yes, yeah, solar integrator. Okay. They, uh, if you're going uh, the mic off-grid, the on-grid micro, meron naman mga solar integrator na maliliit na naka-handle that one. But if you're going to the macro, you have to go to the DOE Department, uh, Department of uh, Energy and look kung sino yung mga binigyan nila ng license na solar integrator. Ah, so pag macro implementation, kailangan dumaan po tayo sa Department of Energy. Yes, then uh, of course they will have also give you incentives regarding that one. So may pifil upan kayong form sa DOE para mas accurate po yung makukuha nating mga savings. Right, marami pong salamat. So I think, no, again, just to recap that to the, pop, to the viewers, Kung micro po, marami po the providers. And maybe you can check the website of Bildi for our endorsed partners uh, that provide solar panels. And there are solar integrators. Pero kung macro po, no, mga buildings, condominium buildings, right, residential or otherwise commercial, mas maganda po pumunta tayo sa Department of Energy para mabigyan po nila tayo ng accredited. Tama po ba? Yes, Sir? accredited li or licensed uh, in integrator. Yes, for a macro implementation. Marami pong salamat, sir. Then, All right. Then also, you can uh, fully utilize the benefits and discounts given by the government. Right, right, right. So, tandaan po natin yan sa mga gustong magtayo ng building. Maganda pong simula natin ng tama. Magkuha po tayo ng mga accredited at licensed na mga providers. Huwag po yung mura. 
Pwede naman pong mura, pero walang lisensya, so hindi din po makakapag-operate. Okay. So, ang last question po dito, sir, is um, how much investment po daw ba ang kailangang para sa type ng panels at battery ang ma pwede niyong marekomenda? Meron na po daw bang lithium na solution available for batteries? Currently, uh, yes, there's already the lithium batteries that uh, that is available in market in the China market but actually the lithium battery now is more cheaper than the lead acid batteries uh, the price range depende pa rin uh, you have to compute the size the capacity of uh, the solar panel or the solar system you want to set up so it will be computed or given by the professionals or the solar integrators to you para ma compute yung actual but basically now the market is around uh, 150,000 pesos for the smaller setup ranging to 300,000 for the for the micro uh, on grid system. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Then uh, for the uh, on off grid uh, micro micro system depende sa hours na gagamitin niyo kung ilang hours niyo siyang papaandarin pero more or less the basic one, uh, the cheapest one you can get now sa market will cost you around 100,000 pesos to 150,000 pesos. Around uh, 2,000 watts capacity that will run for 3 hours. Wow, ang lit ng pala nun. Yung yes. battery, gano'n ba katagal ang life ng battery? Uh, normally, the battery, you will change it uh, two, two years. Two Every two years, you have to change the batteries. Okay. Pero gano'n po kalagay, katagal yung kumbaga, mag-generate mong power? Let's say, kunyari, nag-generate the whole day, how long can you use it at night pag wala nang araw? Depende sa iyong uh, output. So, let's say, gumamit ka lang ng one uh, electric bulb, say 10 watts, magagamit mo yun the whole evening. But if you will run your electric fan the whole night, that's running around 300 watts, siguro mga 10 hours, 8 hours, ma 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 mauubos na yung battery mo. I see. I see. So, we have we will we will have another lecture by the way on how to size up your battery. All right. Fantastic. Okay. okay. So again, I think that's the best way, okay, to like end and re recap this session para po sa ating audience na gustong malaman yung mga next topic paano ba magcompute, paano pag aircon. Uh, we will have uh, engineer Richard De Jesus for the whole month of March. And he will educate us and give you tips kung paano ma 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 magagamit ng maigi ang mga solar panel technology right now. Pero po for our audience, no, um, kung interesado na po kayo or napaghandaan nyo na or naisip nyo parang gusto nyo siyang alternate na source of power, we encourage all of you to tune into Buildy because in Buildy, we have the most recent, most latest uh, feedback from the experts on how you can do this the right way. Okay, so stress ko lang po, no? the right way. Bakit po? Marami po paraan, pero hindi po lahat ng paraan tamang paraan. So kung gusto niyo po talagang makatipid at magawa yung tama, magkonsulta po tayo sa mga experts na katulad ni Engineer Richard. Uh, pag may lumapit po sa inyo na sinasabing, de, mura lang yan, kaya ko to, kaya ko yan. Pwede naman pong mangyari. Pero ang problema po natin dyan is pag nagkaroon ako ng insidente, dyan po natin mararamdaman yung cost, the real cost of not going to experts like Engineer uh, Richard. So with that, sir, is there anything else that you would like to share with our audience uh, in anticipation of our next session next week, Friday yes. 3 p.m.? Yeah, sure. Um, next topic, we, I will share to you how to compute the solar panels, how to install them, uh, how to set up, then also how to size up the battery. And I'll give some uh, pointers regarding the parts of the solar uh, setup of the P solar PV. Oh, we call that pala solar PV. Solar Photo PV. Photovoltaic. Photovoltaic. All right. Vol voltaic. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Marami pong salamat, engineer. So yes. again, with that, we wrap uh, this episode of Pro Stock. And for those who want to know more, uh, this is recorded. And so you can review it, come back to it later on when you need more information to, 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 to write down and inquire. Uh, so with that, 
friends, marami pong salamat for tuning in. Engineer, thank you yes, so much. Thank you. For thank you. The pleasure is mine. Marami pong salamat and see you again next week. Bye. Thank you. Bye.